Hello everyone! So today we're going to be looking at an artist called Alexander Gerard and he created these beautiful wooden what we would call dolls and they were different sort of members of a family so he would create different characters, these wooden painted figures. He would do animals and people, different expressions, different patterns on their clothes and he used to use them and sort of decorate his home with these beautiful wooden families. So I thought it would be nice for us to make our own wooden doll family artworks. We'll just use cardboard or something really simple. We're not going to make them out of wood, but if you did have some wood and you wanted to cut them out of wood, then you could. But a really simple way is just to use cardboard and we're going to create our own little families in the style of Alexander Gerard. So let's start with making some of these cool characters. And we're going to just create ourselves a body. Just a curvy body near the shoulders and the body. Really simple shape. And we're going to put a little neck on. And we're going to go up and put a nice oval head on here. going to create some interesting body shapes. Now the idea of these designs they're very simplistic so we're just going to put a line across the top here that's going to be the hair. Then we're going to have a mouth and we're just going to do that as an oblong like this and teeth. Then we're going to have two big round eyes the pupils in the middle and a really simple way of doing the nose and eyebrows all in together just like that. Then we're going to look at putting on some clothes, some arms. Let's just say here's the end of their t-shirt. We're going to have two triangles for arms. One, two, Put some little fingers on the end and maybe it's a cardigan so we'll just put that there. So you can see really simple basic design and shapes. So let's try a few other drawings and then we can start painting them all. What about we do a character, maybe this person is a sad person so we're going to, we can think about we're doing different heights as well. Some of them short, some of them tall. So maybe this one's a bit shorter. So we're going to have our body, our curved body shape here. And then we're going to go up and we're going to give him, instead of an oval head like that, we're going to give him more of a balloon shaped head. And this one we're going to make as a sad character, a sad face, maybe he's had a tough day, nose, eyebrows, two eyes. If you want to put some hair on, just put a line across the top there. And that's the bottom of the head. And then we're going to put some arms on this one. Now, for these arms, we're going to have our two hands together. We're just going to draw a oblong. Cut that in half, so that's the two hands. Like this, together. And then... Just simple like that. And we might put a little pattern on here. quite a common pattern that you see in his art. Okay, let's try doing a different character. Let's try doing a tall, skinny character. So this one we're going to do the same, the body, coming into the waist. And then we're going to do 
balloon shape there and then we're going to put the head on the top so maybe this is a lady she's got a waist in her hips like that let's give her a belt and some dots for eyes a little dot for a mouth maybe she's got some hair a necklace can do some arms, little stick arms. And if you like, you can give her some patterns on her dress. And these are going to be great when you start painting or colouring them, so you can start adding lots of bright colours. What about the next one we do a cat? So in a family you might have mum, you might have the two brothers, the grumpy brother and the, the funny brother. You might have a cat in your household as well, so let's do a cat. How would we do a cat? We've got the cat body. It's be a very big cat, isn't it? cat's neck and then we're really simple cat head we're just going to go two big cat ears like this and what else do we need for our cat our cat's oh, that's the end of his ears there I just need some eyes to give your cat some whiskers, you can. And that's his little head. And then we can think about putting some stripes on him. We've got some cat paws. Everything's quite geometric, I mean squares and these kind of blocky shapes. That's what the artist kind of did for his designs. Who else do we want to have in our little family? We could have, let's do the next door neighbour, maybe we'll do the next door neighbour. So the next door neighbour might be, we have a balloon shape for the body. Skinny neck. And then we're going to do a turnip here, different shape for the head. So this kind of pointy shape for the head. The interesting thing is we want to have different shapes on our characters so they're not all looking the same. So we're thinking about different shapes we can use for the heads and different patterns that we can put in the designs as well. So we've got this turnip shape head. Let's go, there's the eyebrows, let's make a little curve there and we'll put the eyes in here, sleepy neighbour. Mouth. Oh, he's having a sleep. Okay, and he's going to be wearing some patterned clothes. Put some patterns on here. Let's try, maybe someone in our family is going to be the grumpy, the grumpy one. So we're going to do grumpy, here's the shoulders, let's do a really long neck on this one, really long neck, something different, balloon head, this is going to be our grump, let's put some hair on the top. Just gonna go straight across to make grumpy look. And how we often do grump is we do the eyebrows coming downwards like this. That gives
gives a grumpy face. Some big red cheeks. Here's the grump. Having a bad day. And let's give him a shirt with buttons. And some little arms. Here we go. Maybe we need to do a happy one. We haven't got happy. Let's have a little short one, a little happy short one. across the top, nose, big smile, two eyes, and maybe Happy's going to be, maybe Happy's going to have, you're giving themselves a hug, we'll give two arms, give themselves a hug, that's why they're happy, and we'll put some cool patterns on Happy's clothes, zigzags, Cool. cool patterns, maybe some stripes. Yeah, it is happy. We are going to cut these out as well. We're going to paint them, cut them out, and then we can create a little family so we can make lots and lots of our characters all sorts of different and interesting shapes and designs. Sleepy. Let's do some arms like little oblongs. So we've got a few, we will start painting these and then see if we need any more. And you can leave a fair amount of your characters in white if you've got white cardboard or you've got white paper or you can paint that in white. He did use to use quite a lot of white as well as the colour so don't feel like you have to colour absolutely everything in but you can if you want to and this one I did paint the white over the top of my cardboard and this one I haven't because it's kind of white enough up to you how you want to do it. But just have fun creating your designs using lots of bright colours and patterns and making some really interesting characters for your scene. And the next step is to just cut them all out and get them ready to put onto one page and layer them up. So once we've cut out all of our characters, we're going to get another piece of paper or cardboard to use for the background. Now don't make this too big because we want to have our characters sort of layered on the page. We don't want them all spread out. So we're going to make the page quite small 
so we do have to do some layering and we're just going to paint the page with a really simple pattern something that is not too hard and I think we might just do something like polka dots you could do a pattern of stripes or zigzags you could do dots lines whatever pattern you like just keep it nice and simple so now we're going to figure out the layout of where we're going to put our characters now some of them are quite tall and some of them are short we want to layer them so that we can see all of our characters so let's just do a little layout and see how they might fit so some of them are going to be in the front and some are going to be behind now just remember we won't see everything some bits are going to be covered up that's okay There we go, I think that looks pretty good. So we've got them layered up and now we're going to glue them on. move a few things around we might just shuffle that up a little bit so we can see a little bit more of that and you can arrange them exactly how you like and there we go there is our little family so here is our finished artwork you can see all of our really interesting characters We've got different expressions on their faces, different heights, everyone's got different patterns on their clothes. We've got a dog and a cat, and we've layered all of our characters onto one artwork, like a little collection or a little family. So I hope you've had fun making your own little family of characters. Maybe you base them off people in your own family, or friends, or people in your life. Or maybe you just made up some imaginary characters as well. Well, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye!